Hey, I'm Corey from AvidMax, and I'm going to teach you how to tie the RS2 Emerger fly pattern. This is a pretty simple pattern, uh, but you do want to pay attention to your proportions on this fly. The hook that we're going to use is the uh, Tiemco TMC100 SPBL. Um, for thread, we're going to use the Uni 8 dot in gray. We're going to, for the body, we're going to use the uh, Superfine Adams Gray dubbing. Uh, the tail, I really like to use the Mayfly tails. Um, this is the light done color. You can use a wide variety of, of materials for these tails. Uh, I just really like the way that it looks with the Mayfly tails. And then for the wing today, we're going to use the Sparkle Emerger yarn in clear white. Okay, so here we go, tying the RS2. We're going to start by tying our thread on just behind the eye of the hook here. And we'll tie that on our tag end and I'm going to bring the thread back to the hook point about right there and then we're going to tie in our tail and I really like using these uh, mayfly tails they're nice and um, stiff and nice tiny little fibers so I'm going to get about five or six of these fibers and we'll make sure that our tips are pretty close to alignment and I'm going to have the back of the tail sticking out about three quarters of a shank behind the hook. So I'm going to pinch that in place, do a loose wrap, and we'll start wrapping backwards a little bit. And as you go one wrap next to another going backwards, that'll basically get those tail fibers to go straight in line together. See how they're nice and straight now. So we'll wrap back forward just a little bit, just above the hook point, and then I'm going to trim off the rest of these fibers. Okay, so there's our tail. And now we're going to start dubbing. And we're using the Adams Gray, and the Superfine dubbing is really important to use for this uh, pattern because Superfine is very, very thin, and it allows you to make really, really thin bodies. This uh, pattern, you just want a very slight taper from the back of the fly up to the thorax area. And so you really want to make sure you have a thin dubbing noodle. I usually wet my fingers to kind of get that dubbing snug on the thread. And I'm going to start with a little bit of room at the tip here. I'm not going to dub it all the way up because I'm going to back my thread up and then start going forward. So we will get a little bit more dubbing on here. And again, very sparse. Okay. So I'm going to go backwards. And ideally, we're starting to dub right at the base of the tail. And we will slowly one wrap in front of the next. And just a very ever so slightly tapered body going forward and we're going to go up to about the three-quarter point here and i'm going to add just a little bit more dubbing on this so that i end up with a thicker section at the end there And if I overdubbed it, I might have to pull some of my dubbing off. So let's see where we end up. Yeah, so I'm going to pull that back. And just leave the rest of that on there. Maybe one more rep. All right, so now we're going to tie in our wing material. This is the Sparkle Emerger yarn and I really like this because it gives it a nice sparkly wing bud. Um, but it's important to me to start with a very even cut. So I'm going to cut just the, just the tips off of this so that when I tie it in I have a very straight area to tie into. And I'll show you why, we're, why I do that. So I'm going to start on this side. We're going to do one nice loose wrap, another loose wrap, and then I'm going to pull this back. And the reason I, I need those to be nice and even is when I pull it back so that I can evenly grab all of those fibers. 
So we'll lock those down. And I'm just going to bring this material straight back and just get it out of the way here for a minute. And then we'll trim that guy when we're all done. So now we're going to um, dub the rest of this, dub the head of the fly. A little bit, a little bit of leftover on there. Um, and this one, again, you really want just a very fine, sparse dubbing noodle, not too heavy. And I'm going to bring that one all the way up. And we're going to make sure that we cover that wing bud area and then we'll go forward just a little bit of a taper towards the front and we will whip finish here. Three or four turns. Snug that down. Cut your thread off and I'm gonna pull my wing bud up. And you want this just a little bit shorter than the gap of the hook. So I'm just gonna pull that straight up and measure and cut. And if you want, you can put a little dab of head cement underneath there to lock those threads down, um, but you don't necessarily need to. Since it's dubbing, it'll kind of mat that dubbing down a little bit. But there is a nice little RS2. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have a fly you'd like to see us tie in the future, leave us a comment below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there. My heart over my mind, I'm not over.